everyone, it's Louise with Louise McKay Art, and I'm back today to get another early morning pour in before it gets too warm, and uh, and then this afternoon I'm going to spend more time packing and organizing for our move. For the new folks that are just coming on board, thank you, and uh, you have not followed my journey, but I've been um, uh, in the process of getting a home in North Carolina, and I'm waiting to move, and it's been the last few weeks have been nothing but frenzy packing and getting organized. Um, so thank you for joining and those folks that have been here, uh, thank you for supporting me and continuing to, to watch me in my uh, creations. So today what I'm going to do is another double pillow. For my base I have my homemade gray, which is basically PPG uh, multi-pro with some uh, something called uh, flannel gray, which is a satin enamel. This is also another uh, satin enamel mix with PPG that was a leftover paint from my garage. So of anything in my packing, I've unearthed some paints that I'm gonna try to use and repurpose for different processes and different creations. What I have for my colors, I've got Treasure Gold, uh, Aquamarine with um, Payne's Gray, 24 karat gold, and Amsterdam's Bluish Green with Lil Payne's Gray. This here is a new combination. I've got my Prism Pores Rose Violet and I added to it some amethyst from Extreme Sheen and some of this violet uh, enchanted shimmer. I want to see what I just bought these on sale at Michael's uh, for like a dollar fifty. It was great, and I have seen people use this, and I want to give it a shot. So I'm playing with it in here, and then I mixed up some Payne's Gray by Liquitex because so I thought that would go nicely with this mauve color. Let's get you down on the canvas in a second. I'm going to lay down. The gray mixture first, and I'm going to pour on top of that the, the mauve color, and then I'm going to pour my creation of colors on top of that. And I've got white and black cell activator for my swipe. All right, I'll get you down in a second. So if you're newer to the channel, you'll see that I often skip ahead during the more mundane portions, like just pouring base coats and stuff like that. Stuff that you can easily see, I'll usually either skip ahead or, or go fast through. One of the things I did mention through here is that all of my good canvases are packed, so I'm using all repurposed canvases. None of these will be sold, and it's just for practice right now. So all I do here is just pour that mauve color on top of the base. You know, I had to throw away some paint that was really old. It was old uh, pearl paint, but it was tiny, tiny amounts. You know how I get. I hated to throw it away, but it was just, it was too, it was dry. And so the way I do it is I, uh, I spread it out on a piece of cardboard and uh, let it dry in the sun. And then I dispose of it about as good as I can do as far as disposing because you're not putting it down the drain that's for sure all right so let's get going here I want some negative space this time I'm going to be kind of on a, following kind of a line, loosely. That's my general, my general line. So I'm going to double time through the colors. You can see how I'm laying it down. I'm loosely trying to make a line there and going for some uh, kind of flowy swipe. I have an intention of trying to scoop and drag some of the gray white base from below through the pink on top. We'll see if I get to do that. And um, I also relent a little bit that I added two new colors to that purple because in my background being a quality manager, you always change one variable at a time to have control over the outcome. Just a little scientific tip. So like if you change more than one thing at a time, you don't know based on the outcome which one of the variables had an impact on it. Anyway, I know better, but I just wanted to play. All right. 
So I'm going to skip ahead here as I get my cell activator ready, and I'll be back in a second. Hey everyone, so I'm going to save some time here and just double time through this portion. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just clearing off my palette knife, dipping it in the cell activator, and swiping it through, trying to make a nice design out of this. And also keep in mind that this is just a practice canvas. This is recycled a few times and certainly no intention of uh, ever trying to sell it. It's just practice, but I wanted to show you my process and hopefully give you guys confidence in trying it for yourselves. So I've been doing this for about 16 months now, and I will confess that when I first started out, I was really afraid of the paint. I didn't want to touch it once I had something that looked good. So starting to use a palette knife, I really had to get over that angst of trying to do something with it. But really, you know what? It's not that hard, and what's the worst that's ever going to happen, right? So you fix it. You go back over it again. No big deal. That's probably the biggest learning I've gotten out of this entire experience painting is getting over my initial angst at touching them playing with the paint. I mean, that's what we're here to do, right? Here, I'm just adding some of the white cell activator to that pillow because it really looks nice together. And you can use the cell activator paint just as regular paint, and it creates a nice soft effect around the composition. So now that I'm pretty much set where the composition is, even though that last move I regret in the end, I uh, take a second to set up the cardboard for the spinning, and you'll see me back in a second. Spreading the paint to the edges of the canvas now. So I'm actually a little disappointed here. While I love the way it spread in terms of the cells and the wisps, I was kind of disappointed that the composition turned out almost like in a straight line. And I wanted it more on an angle. So, yeah. And that section I was telling you about that I was regretting that last move, that's that little piece on the bottom corner right there that I end up fighting to get rid of for the rest of this process.
So I end up just resorting to putting more of the pillow down on top of it to blot it out. I think it's almost done. Let me show you where we are. I definitely can see doing this on a much bigger canvas. Cool. I like it. I love this section over here where it's like uh, the cells are just kind of like disappearing. Really neat. You know, I like this technique. Yes, I do. I can see playing in it. Yeah. So everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate you joining me today. find some garage paint. <laughs> you never know what you're going to make. It's really cool. It's really cool.